What's up? Name's Alex, and we're looking at my tech bag. First off, guys, before we get into today's video, we're sponsored today by Goose VPN. If you guys want some money off a VPN, use code in the description, MarsBar25. Let's take a look at my tech bag. So this is the Manfrotto Street, and you guys will have seen this because I've used this for absolutely years, and there's a fair few reasons for that. I'll list off a few right now. So number one, the build quality of this bag. Now looking at it, you still think it pretty much looks brand new. This thing's been to LA with me, it's been to Vegas with me, it's been to London with me countless times. I travel with this thing everywhere. It houses all of my equipment. It's customizable, it's built well. It looks very nice with this like camo green forward slash gray. Really, really nice quality on the zips too. Absolutely love this bag. Couldn't recommend it enough. I'll put a Link to this thing in the description. I want to see all you guys buying this. If you are a camera guy, tech guy, this is the bag to get. And I could not stress that enough. I genuinely love this thing. So these are all the things that I take around with me to make me do my daily life and make that easier for me to do, if that makes sense. So all these things are personal to my life, so let's go through it. First off, that's actually not in here, but is usually in here because it's running the microphone setup for this entire set, is my 15 inch MacBook Pro. Now that sits in here, in the back of the bag. It has a very nice big laptop compartment. And one thing to note as well, just how cool this bag is, right at the bottom you can actually pull it out. There's a little cushion that just sits right at the bottom that comes with the bag, just to make sure when you put the bag down, your laptop doesn't take any hard hits from the floor. Again, another reason why this bag is just incredible. The thought of everything. So moving on from the back laptop compartment where usually my 15 inch MacBook would sit is these two front zipped compartments. Now, I never really go in these, so these keep items that I don't really ever use because, well, you'll see why. When I go in here, there's just stuff like painkillers and ibuprofen tablets and maybe some strepsils. And uh, what else have we got in here? Some Lemsip cold and flu tablets. As I say, I travel with this bag and if I get ill, I wanna make sure that I've always got the stuff in here that I need in case I need some tablets and I've got a headache. It's also a brilliant place to put your passport and all your documents if you're in an airport because it's easy access right at the front. Now there's another pocket at the front right here. This one's a lot smaller so I don't really have much in here other than a nice microfiber cleaning cloth and a little bit of uh, a little bit of whoosh for cleaning stuff. So that, guys, is the front of the bag, and that is all that I really keep in these two front compartments. So from then on from the front, let's go around to the side, and I'm gonna leave the two main compartments to the end where actually all the tech is. So I'll go in this first side compartment here, and obviously this is a travel bag, as I say, travel everywhere. This is my little travel ethernet cable. You should always have an ethernet cable. A lot of hotels have a solid Wi-Fi signal nowadays, but for those ones that don't, because there's so many people in them, that is an ethernet cable, my friends. And it just, and it just, and it just, and it just coils back up like that. It's a little bit of a gimmick, but it's cool and compact. Right next to that in this little compartment, guys, I've got my little travel router, router. This thing has numerous little modes. It can be a wireless repeater, so that means it can pick up a wireless signal and then rebroadcast it. It can have an ethernet cable plugged into it and be an access point. It can also be a router or router as well, and that is why I keep this ethernet cable in the bag just for this little travel router. This thing is like $19.99 on Amazon. All links in the description. Now there's a couple more things in this pocket. I like to keep two 5,000 milliamp hour little batteries here appropriately labeled on the back 5001 and 5002. This one has a little micro USB on it and this one has a lightning port on it because I'm an iPhone user. So two battery banks for two different purposes. So if I need one with a mic USB, just pull that out. And if I need the lightning one for my phone, just pull that out. And the thing I like about these is you can plug the phone in like that and it's really thin so it can just go in your pocket and charge. Put these off to the side and let's go in the other side of the bag. So in here, I'm actually not sure what I've got. Absolutely nothing. 
got that many compartments this bag, honestly, it's incredible. I love it. <laughs> so moving on from the nothingness pocket, let's go into the top big compartment. Now, this is a massive compartment, and as you can see, I've still got a load of space in there, which is which I can put like clothes and travel items and a little travel suitcase with um, a toothbrush in it, or a little travel bag with a toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff in it. But in here, I do have my little portable SSD right here, which is just a little hard drive inside this custom enclosure to make a hard drive on the cheap that's also an SSD with a USB 3 port on it. So that is my cheaply made little hard drive there that I take around with me with all my video stuff on it. Right next to that, I've got a uh, DJI Mavic Air. This is a custom Mavic Air, still in its case, and I've still got the tag on it because I've, well, yeah, there is a custom Mavic Air if you've ever seen one before. I actually did a video customizing this, so if you want to check it out, you can do that is a custom Mavic Air. And that I just keep in its carry case because obviously I don't want to ruin the custom decals that are on this custom Mavic Air so it stays in the case. The case really adds no bulk and it actually makes this whole bag seem a little bit more uniform. So right next to that I have the Mavic Air controller. What I've gone ahead and done is attached a small lightning anchor cable to this because I feel the cables that come with the Mavic Air or with any of the DJI products that have this style of remote are really flimsy. So I like to put my own little anchor cable on there and then that just folds down like that and goes into the bag. Right underneath that controller, I have my Bose QC35s. Mwah. These headphones are the bomb. They're just incredible for long journeys with the noise cancelling that these things have. As you can see, mine are absolutely battered, but that's because they get used. And when you buy something that's this expensive, it's nice to see that it is getting some solid use. And these get solidly used, like solidly. Couldn't recommend these things enough. Again, links in the description. I did a video recently comparing these 300 pound headphones to some cheaper Bluetooth headphones. And usually when I do those types of videos, I'm always in favor of the cheaper products because there's the diminishing return graph as to the more you spend, the less you get back. But with these Bose headphones, honestly, if you've got the cash, you can't go wrong. Also in here, I've just got a, well, a pen with a, Actual, it's a, it's a rub out pen. It's a pen, but you can actually rub rub out the pen if you make a mistake. So that is all I have in the top compartment, guys. And then this in here is where it gets busy. So in here, guys, is where the majority of all of my stuff is. And the reason I keep the majority of all of my things in this bottom compartment of the bag is because, well, as you can see inside of here, everything is this sort of little camo finish. But all of this camo finish is actually a Velcro material. So you can go ahead and insert, hear that? I'll try and take one out for you so you can so you can figure this out yourself. So essentially the bag comes with loads of little things like this, with little Velcro things on the side. And this Velcro is actually like really, really weird Velcro, but it sticks like absolute hell. And they come with short ones of these, big ones of these, big red ones, big padded ones, loads of them in the bag. And you can essentially customize your Manfrotto bag to how you want to accommodate all your gear. So say you could have a couple of lenses in here, or maybe you've got a big zoom lens and you need to have a big space down that side for your zoom lens. It's fully customizable, the bottom of this bag, so you can have it any way you want. Really cool. The way I have it set out, so obviously, as I mentioned, my laptop is the MacBook Pro 2017 15 inch, so I'm overloaded with USB-C stuff and dongles. So the top of my bag, or the top of this section, is reserved for dongles. Uh, I do a lot of camera work, so that's the SanDisk USB-C uh, the SanDisk USB -C card reader. It's actually the fastest card reader I own this. It's an actual tank, but it's not cheap at 25 quid for this, really bit annoying. And in there I just keep an SD to micro SD adapter just so I can offload stuff from the Mavic Air if needs be. So my dongle of choice is this really actually crappy Hutu one. Wouldn't recommend this thing whatsoever. I am replacing this very very soon with an absolutely mega dongle which we have already recorded a video on. So uh, yeah that's going to be coming soon. But this is my little Hutu dongle. It does the job. It's got HDMI, three USB 3 ports. It's also got Ethernet and a charge pass through port for USB-C, and then it has a micro SD and SD card reader in the side. Find these card readers to be a little bit unreliable and a little bit slow, but it is what it is, and that is my dongle. As I say, replacing this very soon, so hit that subscribe button. Moving on down on this bag, this is one of my favorite power banks. Now, it's not big, and it's not clever. Actually, no, it is very clever, because it's got a tile inside of this thing. So if you lose it, you can make it ring, right? How cool is that? But I don't use it for that very reason. This thing constantly lives inside of my bag, right? So essentially, my bag 
is always trackable. And that is why I love having this thing inside of here, because if I leave my bag somewhere, I can rely on the tile community to help me find my bag, because it has this power bank inside of the bag. I haven't named this power bank, I've named this Manfrotto bag, because it just lives inside the bag. Do you guys get what I'm saying here? So as well as it's not really being that much of a big power bank, I think it's, yeah, 9,000 milliamp power, so it's not small, but it's not mental. It's also pretty compact, it feels really nice, it's really rubbery. The thing I like about this power bank though is that you can charge it up with USB-C. So my MacBook charger that lives in this bag can charge this thing up super, super fast. I think it gets from like zero to 100 in, I think about two hours? Really, really cool. I can also output USB-C too, as well as it has one single 2.4 amp USB output. Love this thing, Nomad. So that just sits in there. Below that, I constantly wear an Apple Watch on my wrist. So this is my portable Apple Watch charger. It's really cool, just has a little dock there. You dock your Apple Watch on it and it starts charging. Oh, and also it has a built-in lightning cable. So if you uh, wanna charge your phone up as well, off you go. Only downside to this is it is a little bit heavy and a little bit clunky. So I only really put this in the bag when I'm going away somewhere for a couple of days and I need to keep my Apple Watch charged. But you're good for about 10 charges of your Apple Watch with this thing. Down from here, this is the compartment where I usually keep my MacBook charger. However, my MacBook is currently on charge right now. But also in that little compartment is some Sony lens caps and also my Apple AirPods with a custom little silicone case on just to keep them all nice and cosy. I also use microphones on the top of my cameras a lot, and those microphones take a single AA battery, so I've always got one of those to hand in case my microphone decides to die on a shoot or something. Below that, guys, I have in this little compartment a couple cameras. I've got a GoPro Hero 5 right here, which is actually, it's actually broke, it doesn't even work. Uh, I need to send this back to GoPro. It just was working fine, and then it just stopped. Really odd, it doesn't even charge either, so not sure what's happening there. You need to sort that out. Next to that, I've got a 360 camera. Always cool to have a 360 camera. It plugs into your phone. It's actually awesome, this thing. It does a really, really cool image. You can take spherical video, spherical photos, panoramas with this thing. And I always like just having this in the bag, because if anybody's like, yeah, you got a, uh, you got a uh, 360 camera on you, I'll be like, heck yeah. Chuck this on your phone. Jobs are good in. And next to that, I actually pay, well, actually EE in the UK pay for this for me. So EE, thank you, appreciate it. This is a little MiFi dongle that gives out Wi-Fi. So when I'm away, I've got Wi-Fi. It's 50 gig of data on this thing per month. So that's pretty cool. And that just lives in here too. So I've always got a wireless hotspot on me in case I need some internet. And then next to that, I've just got a whole load of cables. Obviously the headphones I was talking about earlier, the Bose QC35s, they're Bluetooth, but when you're editing, you get a little bit of Bluetooth lag. So it's always nice to have a hardwired option. Here's the cable for that. Set that off to one side. Next to that, we've just got a couple USB cables. This is one for the GoPro with the USB-C adapter on it because I've got a MacBook, so MacBook life. Another USB to USB-C cable. You guys are getting the gist here. Then a micro USB cable for charging things up like the 360 camera, the MiFi hotspot, and the other two little thin battery banks that I've got in the side of the bag. And then I've got Apple's proprietary uh, proprietary little adapter here, USB-C to USB. I actually managed to get this for free from the Apple store when I bought my MacBook. These things were usually like 15, 20 quid. And I just said it was ridiculous and the guy ended up throwing one in for free for me, so. It's got some history, this thing. And then another USB-C to USB adapter, just because I was so annoyed with the USB-C switch that I wanted to make sure I've got all the dongles so I'm always covered. The reason I keep all these dongles as well is because things like my USB battery bank, the USB-C output, if I wanted to charge two USB things, I could just plug that into there, and then I've got two USB outputs there, uh, 2.1 amps, so all sorted. And then there is a couple of cables. I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable here, just a short one. And then I think, guys, that is about it. I can do everything from this bag, and I can even store other cameras in here. There's still space. I've got a spare compartment here. It's light, it's small, and I can literally carry it everywhere with me, and I absolutely love this thing to pieces. So all the stuff that's in this bag, will be in the description. If you guys wanna go ahead and buy it, I'd appreciate you using our links down there because we get a small kickback. But other than that, my name's been Alex. This has been Tech Flow. This has been my bag. 
let's talk about our sponsor. So I want to shout out GooseVPN for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like a 30 day free trial, you can go ahead and use our link in the description, MarsBar25. And with that, you're going to get yourself a 30 day free trial and you can use one subscription on all of your devices to access the VPN. With Goose VPN, and this is why I like them, you can change your IP address anytime. So you can pretty much access any website anywhere. And if you want to change your IP address, you just can do like that. Goose VPN does things like protect your data from potential hackers and it keeps you private and behind a wall so you can browse the internet safely and more securely. And also with Goose VPN they've got top end hardware so you will not see any decrease in the internet speed when you are browsing through the VPN and Goose actually say that you can receive even faster internet response times using their VPN. So it's completely anonymous as well with no logging and as I've said, increases your broadband speed and you can access the websites that you want to access anywhere, anytime and you can change your IP at any time. If you guys want to sign up, you can check out our link and code in the description. Thanks to GooseVPN for sponsoring today's video.